comes here or this band this is the end of this is the beginning of distal convoluted tubule and end of the thick part of ascending limb of loop of Henle here nature has put a very beautiful system there are some cells here which are very very slightly modified structure this group of cells here the nephron cells are somewhat modified these are tall these are dark looking and these cells love to taste the fluid here these cells are sensitive to they are sensitive to sodium they are sodium sensors what are what is the function of these cells these are sodium sensing cells right now actually these are pressure sensing system and this is sodium sensing system this system together make a whole operatus now look a front arteriole with polkacin and this specialized group of cells from distal convoluted tubule and its junction with the proximal part is that right this group of cell and this group of cell they make one specialized operatus these acting as the baroreceptors and these acting as the chemoreceptors these are the baroreceptors these are the chemoreceptor they measure the blood pressure they measure the sodium concentration is that right and they are held together by some connective tissue cells they are held together by some yes connective tissue cells now I told you this pre blood pressure measuring device baroreceptor group it is called polkacin and this sodium sensing device which is present in every nephron it has a special name you know what is the name of this uh, special group of cells which, which measure the sodium thank god the researcher who found it he did not put his name on this actually in the beginning when researchers looked at the nephron structure they found this area was a little bit more dark as compared to the rest of the nephron these group of cells are more dark so they just call it macula densa that there is some macule, macule mean patch, patch of cell which is looking very dense. So this is called, what is the name of this thing? Macula densa. Now, polkacin is from afferent arteriole, macula densa is from distal convoluted tubule. This is vascular component, this is nephron component. This is pressure measuring device, this is sodium measuring device and they are held together through connective tissue cells which are called lesser cell all this operators as a group all this operators as a group is present in every nephron it means every nephron has blood pressure measuring device as well as sodium measuring system and as a group polkacin plus macula densa they have given a very special name to this and all of you know that name what is the name of this operators what's the name of this operators yeah juxta glomerular operators have you heard of it so this is juxta glomerular operators just they call it a special operators right juxta posed to glomerulus juxta glomerulus with the glomerulus there's a very special operators thank god they did not put a very complex name for it they just say they're special operators they never knew in the beginning what are its function now they know now let's go back to our analogy we were saying that person is bleeding blood pressure is going down blood flow is going yes down so when blood flow is less baroreceptors are activated in juxta operators and the release renin meanwhile when your blood flow is less then glomerular filtration is more or less? less less of course if there's less blood coming right then filtration is also less now you think really with your own cortex that if filtration is very less listen listen if filtration is very less the fluid will move through this lumen rapidly or slowly sure 
So whenever GFR is less, luminal flow becomes slow. When movement of the fluid through the lumen becomes slow, then what happens? These cells which are working on this luminal fluid, they have more chance to work or less chance to work? Less. More, my friend. Of course, look, if there are many mangoes going here, attention Mr. Hadayat, let's suppose there is water going and a lot of mangoes going here and you are sitting here to catch the mangoes. If flow is very fast, you will miss the mangoes. But if it is very, very slowly coming, you will catch every mango. Do you get it? These cells work like you. They are not catching mangoes there, they are catching sodium there. So when G blood pressure become less, glomerular filtrate become less, luminal flow become less, these cells extract extraordinary amount of sodium. And by the time the fluid, little fluid reaches here, it is more than normal amount of sodium or less than normal amount of sodium? Less than normal amount of sodium. Then macula densa, it loves to taste sodium. So whenever GFR is less, then proximal part of the nephron work on the slowly moving fluid, extract too much sodium, so less sodium reach to the sodium sensing device. And whenever macula densa feel, there's less sodium coming, it becomes super active. It is activated when there's less sodium reaching here. And it releases some nitric oxide is released by it and prostaglandins are released by it. And they activate these polkesin cells. Macula densa requests this, that please listen to us, there is very little sodium coming here, there is something wrong with GFR, probably blood is not coming well. So please release more renin. So renin release become further augmented. So now renin has been released under two influences, under pressure change and under sodium change. So every glomerulus has juxta glomerular operators. Operators consist of blood pressure measuring device and operators consist of sodium. sodium sensing device. Blood pressure measuring device is derived from the afferent arterial smooth muscle. Sodium measuring device is a derivative of nephron cells. Together they make just glomerular operators. Whenever blood flow is less to the kidney, right, this operator releases excessive renin in the blood. Now what this renin should do? Renin should correct the balance, bring the patient out of tragedy. What was the tragedy? Blood pressure was going down and blood volume was going down. Now, function of renin is to bring the blood pressure back as well as blood volume up so that patient does not die. For example, patient has lost one liter of blood, then somehow blood pressure should be maintained and somehow blood volume should be maintained. We will talk about how renin does it. But before that, we will talk about one more factor. What is that? That is that whenever your blood pressure go down, whenever your blood pressure goes down, let's suppose here is your heart. So what really happens? What is it? What is this? Carotid system has carotid body. What is the function of, sorry, carotid sinus, not carotid body. This is, this is what I'm showing is carotid sinus. Carotid sinus is an other blood pressure measuring device. It also has baroreceptor. When patient is bleeding, the blood flow to here will be more or less? Less. So whenever blood flow become less, this carotid system is also activated and to special neurons, they report to the central nervous system that blood pressure is falling. They report to the central nervous system that blood pressure is falling. In the central nervous system, right, okay, let's forget about this part of the diagram and concentrate only on this. This is going into peritubular capillaries and then it collect back as venous and okay, connect it here. This was renal arterial flow and this is renal venous flow, venous blood going back, right, and arterial blood. 